Hi, I'm Andrew Hale, and I'm doing a speech today on keeping arts in schools. Thank you. I just want you to take a look at these first few pictures here. Tell me what you think. Thank you. Throughout time, we've had many different forms of art, whether it be music, drama, um, ways to express ourselves in visual arts. The arts have been around for as long as time, for as long as we can tell. So why isn't it a core class considered in high school? That was my question. Well, what defines a core class? Based on types of studies that were pursued in, in the classical world, Several liberal arts became organized in late ancient times by writers such as Barrow and Capel. In medieval times, the seven liberal arts offered a genuine, complete way of de depicting the realms of a higher learning education. So the first one is the trivium, which is the three roads, and it's grammar, rhetoric, logic, and the detail of information. The next is the quadrivium, and it consists of arithmetic, which is numbers and within itself, geometry, which is numbers in space, music, harmonics, and tuning theory, which is number and time, astronomy, and cosmology. So when I was going through this, I was curious. I was like, what are Idaho's graduation requirements? What do you have to have? What do they consider a core class? They consider that you have to have four credits of math, two credits of science, social studies, econ, you need to have five credits. Humanities, you can only have two credits, which and that can include a science, or not a science, excuse me, a Spanish class or some foreign language. You don't even have to take an art class. One credit of health, and you have to have 17 electives. Within those electives, you can choose to take arts or different kind of classes if they're offered at your school. Thank you. So how, does this, how do the arts benefit students? One, it contributes to making a well-rounded student. Two, it encourages the pursuit of extracurricular hobbies. Three, it's a fantastic stress reliever. Four, it provides a sense of worth. And five, it, it's a showcase for expression. The first, that I, when I did my speech, I broke it down into three different things drama, art, and music class. So what are the benefits of drama? I believe that it sharpens sense of plot, setting, and characters in all integral aspects to become a better reader. Um, impro improvisation is fun and allows you to kind of act silly at school, which we all know high schoolers sometimes need to act silly. And the next thing is it flexes memory muscles when it, you need to remember your lines. It helps you remember your lines. Um, the three benefits of art classes, it boosts, boosts creativity, releases stress or frustration in healthy ways, and there's no wrong answers. Students always are correct in it. The next is music class. Being a part of a large group builds self-worth. It's that simple. Um, you foster appreciation for all works of music beyond what's just playing on the radio, and it teaches the value of practice and hard work. So what are ways to fund the arts? The No Child Left Behind Act that everybody loves so much has a certain block of money set aside for arts within schools. So that's one way that when your school district is breaking down their budget that you can try to fund school, your school, if arts in your school, if that's possible. The next thing is levies, and that kind of just depends whether your school feels that that's important or not. And then I said that the schools can budget classes differently. Just because you have art one semester and drama the next semester doesn't mean that it's, it's hurting a student or it's not. It's building more opportunities and it's giving students the chance to take different classes that are more of a variety. So I believe that if schools are possible and they can to break one semester down into drama and one semester down into art if they can't afford it. So with my conclusion, um, the U.S. Secretary of Education states 
I believe art, education, and music, theater, dance, and the visual arts is one of the most creative ways we have to find the gold that is buried just beneath the surface. They, children, have an enthusiasm for life, a spark of creativity, and a vivid imagination that need training. Training that prepares them to become confident young men and women. As I visit schools around the country, I see renewed interest in arts education and a growing concern about the negative impact of cutting art and music out of the curriculum. The creativity of the arts and the joy of the music should be central to, to the education of every American child. I believe that arts in schools are beneficial to any student, whether they are required or whether or not they give the student the opportunity to express themselves and to be able to find something that they love to do. Speech. If you can, yeah.